Hey guys, it's Mike Piazza, former Dodger and Hall of Famer. They keep politics out of sports crowd at work, y'all. Get out and vote. Get out and vote to recall Gavin Newsom and put Larry Elder in Sacramento. So Piazza, an MLB Hall of Famer and supporter of racism, sexism, transphobia, misogyny, and police brutality, has a history. This guy was some player, Mike Piazza. Mike! Thank you, Mike. It's an honor. He got a shout out from the insurrectionist president himself at a hoodless rally. Here's the deal. If you guys do this, I'll personally come out to Dodger Stadium and thank all the Dodger fans who voted for him. So Piazza appears to shill for Larry Elder. George guy, Zimmerman about his shot dead and on the guy who cares teenager. about his neighborhood. He's a, neighbor, he's a neighborhood watch guy. Don't you want people who are proactive? A guy who supports George freaking Zimmerman. Larry Elder will bring back the California dream. The election of Donald Trump in 2016, in my opinion, was divine intervention. Larry Elder wants to change this. He's a man who deeply loves California. The idea that there's systemic racism against black people is a lie. Vote for Larry Elder. Breaking news as we come on the air this hour, Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom will keep his job. We said yes to science. We said yes to vaccines. We said yes to ending this pandemic. We said yes to people's right to vote without fear of fake fraud or voter suppression. We said yes to women's fundamental constitutional right to decide for herself what she does with her body. So Elder's run and Piazza's endorsement was a swing and a miss, but let's get back to Piazza an ass hat who wears an ass on his hat. Maybe the most glorious part of his endorsement video is his promise to go to Dodger Stadium and thank the fans of his old team, but only those who voted for Larry Elder. Per the California Secretary of State, Elder was deeply unpopular in LA County. Michael, if you want to be around your people, man, just go to Lassen County. I assure you there are plenty of COVID ready high fives and handshakes for you. Many reporters noted Piazza didn't go to Dodger Stadium as other alums did for this past Monday's game honoring his old manager the late Tommy Lasorda with a bobblehead giveaway. Yet he would pledge his first return since his playing days based on the outcome of an election. Here's the thing. Piazza claims to love LA so much, yet his Hall of Fame plaque does not have the Dodgers cap on his head. It has a Mets hat. As a matter of fact, CNBC reported that Piazza doesn't even live in Los Angeles County, nor does he live in California. Nope, he lives in Italy. As the great author Molly Knight wrote, Mike Piazza likes Larry Elder but has a problem with Vin Scully for those of you keeping score at home. From holding a press conference to declare his sexuality to allegedly bankrupting an Italian soccer club, Piazza had his fair share of odd moments that were brought back to light in the wake of the endorsement video. Another reckless thought of Piazza's was, well, them Dems are here and everyone's leaving. Where have we heard that before? My friends are leaving California. Actually, where my hangar, the guy across right over me, he was packing up his hangar. I said, where are you going? And he says, I'm moving to uh, Sedona, Arizona. I can't take it here anymore. I can't walk down the streets and see the homeless. Oh, yeah, that's right. That would be Brad Parscale's client, Caitlyn Jenner, who also received a dazzling 1.1% of the vote to recall Newsom. The people are leaving California is simply a bad faith argument, yet prototypical right-wing talking point. At the University of California, a study concluded there is no evidence of an abnormal increase in residents planning to move out of the state. This research is part of a larger multi-institution research project led by UC to assess whether there is, in fact, a Cal exodus. The only thought we can agree on with Piazza's wrong assessment is people did leave California cities, that is. When COVID hit, per the LA Times, many left San Francisco in droves, which honestly just isn't that surprising.